In this video, we'll look at how we can move our ProPresenter presentations to a different computer without having to start from scratch. Let's get started. So there's two different methods we can use to do this. The first one is within ProPresenter itself here. And the second one is by looking at the files and folders that ProPresenter creates in our computer. Sometimes the second method does have issues, but we'll take a look at both just in case you need to use either one. So for our first method, we're in ProPresenter. We're going to go up the top to Pro Presenter and then to Preferences. We're just going to click on Preferences and open it up. In here, we're going to choose the Sync section in our Preferences. So what this does is it shows us where our repository is. It shows us what we're going to include in our Sync and it's going to let us choose to sync down from the repository or to sync up to the repository. So what a repository is, is where we can send all our files to store them. So some people suggest you could use something like Dropbox for this if you wanted to move things between computers and keep them synced. It's a couple extra steps. Sometimes it doesn't quite work, but that's a little hack that some people use to use a cloud service so that they can use their presentations between computers. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to just go into here and I'm just going to choose my desktop for the repository for now. I'm then going to come down here and I want to sync all of my files to the repository. So I'm going to choose sync up to the repository. I'm going to just tick replace and pretend that we have some in there already. And I'm going to hit sync. What that does is it syncs up to the repository. But how do we import our files? So if I was on a new computer, we would be able to import from our repository. So let's do this. We're going to delete this one and we're going to delete this one. And so we have no presentations. If I go back into preferences, go to my sync, I've selected the folder that I saved my repository in, and then I'm gonna sync my files down from the repository. And in this case, I'm gonna replace my files I have here because I still have lots of my files existing that were already there. When I click sync, it brings those files in from the repository and you can see it's replaced all of my files and now all of my playlists are back here. Now, sometimes it won't bring in absolutely everything. So you need to go through and double check your looks and your themes and things like that. So in my themes, I've still got my <coughs> themes here and we would just have to go through and double check and make sure. So that is method one. Method two to be able to do this is in our file structure we can go and find the file called ProPresenter. In our ProPresenter file, we can find all our configuration, libraries, media, playlists, presets, themes. Now, I could take a copy of that if I wanted to and put on my new computer. I could just take my libraries. So in libraries here, you can see that those titles there in our files match our libraries. So I could take a copy of them and take it across to my computer and put it in the libraries folder. I could copy my playlist. Now you'll notice here that my playlist sample and church 9am don't exist here. But if I take these files and replace the files with the same names on my new computer, it should bring in these as well. But just take note. If I just take across my playlist, my themes aren't there, my media's not there. It's going to get real messy really fast. And it's not going to work properly. So I would highly recommend the first method if you can get it to work. But you do have the second method. Just while we're here as well, this is where all the media lives. So if I go into media and then assets, this is all of the media that's been imported into ProPresenter on my computer. So if I go down in here, you can see all of this media lives in this media folder. So anything that's been brought in. Sometimes ProPresenter starts getting really slow over time if we keep all our media in this fo folder but you can go in here and you can clean it out if you wish. So there's some options there. So that's our quick introduction to moving ProPresenter to a new computer using the import and export function. Thanks for watching guys. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you click like and of course subscribe. If you've got any other questions or queries, please let us know below in the comments and we can make more videos for you soon.